All right, so I think this is very important to put at the very beginning of this video or would not be doing it. I think it's time to do another veterans charity fundraiser, except for this time, it's for my buddy that was killed in Iraq in 2016 for his family. He has his own foundation, Charlie Keating's foundation. Obama had a speech about him. He was killed in Iraq in 2016 fighting ISIS. He was in Afghanistan with me. He was on the hilltop during that one day that just gave me use just talking about it. I'm telling you right now, the guy was great. He was a great dude. The link is at the very top of the bio. This shirt right here, $5 from every single sale. We'll go towards that freaking foundation. Please, guys, can we raise $50,000? The Lunkers TV family, can we do it? We did it with Demolition Ranch, but he has a giant audience. I'm trying to do it myself. Can you guys, can we, can we do this together? $5 every single shirt. He would be so against what's going on right now, and I feel like this is the best time to do it. So if you're interested, click on the link at the top of the bio. I hope you guys really do enjoy this video. This is an amazing cause. Hopefully, 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 we can raise $50,000 for veterans. We raised $300,000 for Justin Rackley. I think, I think the Lunkers TV family can do it. I love every single one of you guys. Click the link at the top of the bio. Now please enjoy this video. Yell out. <laughs> this is how we start morning off every single day on this channel. That's yeah, fair, I gotta freaking love it. I thought I had a rough, but this dude can't even upload a video without YouTube hitting him hard. Right, right between before you go live? Yeah. Before oh, he was live. Can you get them to review it before you? No, just gotta have a thousand views in seven days. Really? So you have to make it go live and then you miss 12 hours of everything? So I miss, yeah, I miss about 12 to 24 hours of, of moolah. <laughs> Which is fine, you know? I'm just not complaining. I, I, I'm not in YouTube for the money. I just do it because I love it. Oh. I thought I had a rough one when it came to YouTube. I thought YouTube was, was uh, not a big fan of my videos, but Outlaw can't even upload a video and it hits him straight with that yellow right off the bat. He hasn't even pressed public yet and they're just like, no, 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 we need to review your video. We need to review your video to make sure. And you guys wonder why I don't go over to California too often. I could feel my heart racing. Don't worry, I was just slightly kidding about that California comment. I don't know anybody in California, that's the only reason why I don't go there. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this room now. Oh God. God John sent a link to us and said, I'll pay somebody $100 to play that song in their video. So you know what, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm constantly getting demonetized. I need it, the money, real bad. So he was just actually upstairs dancing in uh, red underwear. It really? makes, you, makes you feel any better. That makes me feel so much better. In your house. At least no kids are here. That makes everybody at home feel better. That's true, yeah. As long as when people are dancing in underwear, when dudes are dancing in underwear, as long as no kids home. Oh! Oh, so close. This is the time I've been waiting for for the past, let's say about a week or so. I know that sounds like I've been waiting a long time, but it's probably been about nine, we're gonna say nine months, just to make it seem more dramatic. It's kind of like, you know, when you need to go into a candy store, and you're like, you know what I want? I want a Hershey's. No, this is bad. This is this is a horrible. What are they called when you try to when you try to uh, try to? Um, oh wow! Hey, hey, Rob, f find your words here. Um, what, what is it called when you're trying to like compare something? Oh gosh, this is bad. This is so bad. You know, it doesn't help that you can't explain what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, like like when I just tried to compare a Hershey bar to a to a suppressor. Mm -hmm. What is that called? Comparison. Comparison. You're comparing it. Yes, we're here. These people have hooked me up. This, yeah, this is counted as a pistol. Just so you guys know in Texas, this is counted as a pistol. This is why I keep telling Outlaw he needs to move here, but he wants to stay up there with all the people, all those hits. I don't know how much closer. This has been like... I didn't know you were filming. Thought we head outside just a little bit, a little easier. Sounds a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Wow, it's kind of loud, but it's not loud, loud. No, that's hearing safe. That's that short can, though, isn't it? That's the shortest one they got. That's cool. Yep. That's really you, cool. you need some more ammo, I think. Trade you. But on a serious note, this really is considered a pistol in Texas. Like I wasn't kidding. It's a lot easier to probably hear me outside. I would assume. You want some ears? Nah, we're good. We don't need ears this thing. How long is this barrel? Five and a half inches. Five and a half inches. That's not a, this is another. If you guys don't believe him, I'll pull down my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Five and a half inches. So I mean, we can, we can seriously conceal this thing. Like... <laughs> hey, do you know what Tex Grabner is? I do not. Tex oh. Grabner outdoors. Come on, 
John Wayne shield. Indeed, indeed. I want to say thank you so much to these dudes. Oh, you can't see their sign. You're can you? You can't, oh, can't. oh, I was going to say thanks to uh, <laughs> Apache. Apache Rifle Works. These guys are amazing. We got some toys. Yeah, you guys see the toys down here. We're going to go play with them here in a second. We've got to figure out how to put them on the bigger toys. The toys go on the bigger toys. But seriously, though, if you guys are down in Texas, you guys need to hit these guys up. I'll link them down below. These guys right here. They're all just all... They hooked my buddy up too, that one overseas. They hooked him up with an LRF. His broke, and they're such nice people. They overnighted him one before he went to Afghanistan. Just so you guys get the kind of just what kind of people they are. Oh, dude, just look at the, don't you just want to stroke it? We're here, we're back. As you guys can clearly tell, because we got the goblin in the background. His brother actually dropped this off today. I mean, it's pretty fitting for this freaking, this thing is bad to the bone. Look at that, that is awesome. But enough of that, I think that thing is sick. That thing is so awesome, but you guys are about to see. I got three of them. Like I said before, Apache Rifle Works, they are amazing people. They've helped veterans out there. They're like, they're like great. If you guys have to get anything, any anything gun related, like anything like that, suppressors or just guns in general, you need to go see them. They're gonna, they're great people. I, I, I absolutely love working with them. Look at that, doesn't that look so succulent? Okay, this is the short one. So I got three, I held up two fingers when I said three. I got three different sizes. I got short, medium, and, and long. We're gonna put them on three different rifles. We're gonna take the, we're gonna get the adapters on the end of the rifles and that is what we're gonna do right now. I wanna make sure that I didn't with Matt here, cause I. Sarah told me you only had one size, short. So Matt picked himself up one as well. First threaded. I'm really, really excited because this is like one of my favorite ones that he has in his house. A little CMG. This says CMG 45, right? Is this the 45? Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, this is called the CMMG Guard. Oh, it's a CMMG. Yep. Okay. And it's 45 ACP. And this, it says no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe, maybe you turn this way. Oh my god, I can't believe that it actually it does say no. no. <laughs> you're actually, you're supposed to do that for like... Oh, oh we oh. did it! Woo nice. I have no idea. He's, he said hand tight. Okay. You want to go, you want to go give it a shot right now and see if that's all we needed to do? Yeah. I love how this is a 45. That's the exact same. Well, it's funny that it's a 40. This, this gun is made for 45, but the opening in the Frickin gun is the same size as like... Five, five, six. five, five, six. Yeah. yeah. I think it's awesome. I love that thing. All right. Ready? Should be good. Still kind of loud in the barn. Uh, I, th I, think, I think it's just because it's in the barn. Yeah. I hit that. Oh, I almost you hit, hit the dirt. Target. Yeah, you hit the dirt. <laughs> oh, just right. Just right. What do you think? I would assume it's the same. Oops. Sorry about that. Nice. Oh, that looked like it tightened. Is it still tight? No, just did the thread strip. Look at this. Well, it looks like this gun is going to be staying down here and going back to Paul. <laughs> wow, that was a huge mistake. This wasn't supposed to be taken off. This was welded on here right there. And so that's why it wasn't coming off is because someone made it to where it wouldn't come off. Oh. Because it has to be 16 inches. We, this was not something we thought of so, like, yeah. at all. That's, that's, that's the issue. Yeah, you got you a 14 and a half inch barrel right there that I now just messed up. And now it's messed up. Well, I mean, the worst comes to worst, just screw it back down. It's still pretty yeah, locked. It'll hit, it'll hit those threads. Yeah, just screw it back down. You think so? Yeah, it'll hit those threads and be all right. But. Oh my, I just made a, well, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I just made a pretty, pretty dumb mistake. Did not think about this right here. This is, this is done. So this is going to be staying down here with Matt and sent back over to the, the good old gun store to have a new barrel put on it. Well, let's see if we can't mess up the scar, huh? All right, you want to uh, you want to do it for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We're gonna make this sure that this one is done correctly. You got it all? Oh, you already got you it all. Start spinning. Yeah. Not... Easy peasy, bro. This is what it's supposed to be easy like. Easy peasy. Uh, yeah, that one's a little easier. <laughs> yeah. All good. Okay. You want to be the first one to shoot this? We got the can on, by the way, everybody. We're we're good to go. <laughs> you want me to shoot it first? Yeah. Okay, I'll got it. it. Okay. What do you guys think? Think we're good? Think the round's gonna go all the way through? Do you think we're gonna have any? I, think it's gonna go all the way I through. hope so. I'm gonna stand back here though. Put my glasses on. You ready? Oh, don't hit that metal target out there. It's just oh, a, don't hit it's it. It's a pistol target. Oh gosh. <laughs> you, you missed it by like one inch. I did miss inch. it by like that much. Okay, so. You nailed that bird. Just was it still pretty loud? 
Um, I have my ears plugged. I'll I'll unplug them and see. I'll stand outside of this. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't hurt my ears. So it's good. Yeah, it'll hurt yours a little bit, but not bad. Okay. That's pretty quiet. I think we should put on the big one and try it. Yeah. I have the big one. Oh no, that ain't nothing. Yeah. That's not bad. That's you, awesome. That's good. You guys want to see what the the big can sounds like on yeah. this gun? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the sure. big one. Now that's, I, that's awesome. Now I freaking want to suppress the weight. It's a little. It's a little warm. Actually, I'm gonna grab the other can. Okay. I got, like You're I told you guys, I got three sizes. We got small, which was originally four. Well, you guys know the deal. Rob Turk was nice and small. No, it was originally for that. that, that <laughs> it was originally for the M4 that I messed up because I'm an idiot. And then we got the big one, which is for the 300 wood mag. But I'm gonna go grab it. I'll be back. Here's the difference. We just shot this one. Yeah. So we get an extra. Two inches of suppression in there. I just look at this. Did, it, did this turn even? It twisted. Look, it turned just a little bit. No, I don't think so. No. I think you turned it, overturned it a tad. So I think we're good. I'm pretty stoked. That looks that looks pretty clean. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, dude! Wow! Wow! Oh, that's, that's exciting cool. right there. <laughs> it doesn't make up for the fact that I look how good it looks. Tried to take a uh, a pinned flash flash out. Hey, off. Rob, we'll be not many people are skilled enough to pull a pin flash or, or strong enough to pull a pin flash hider off of a barrel. So good job. Mm. Hit that squat. So this isn't gonna work right now. This has got to get it. We gotta get a reducer down for this. It is not well. Won't fit on there. So that'll be that'll be loud for a while longer. I just. For those who couldn't see that, which was all you guys, Bunkers has nerves of steel. I, I floored this electric bike and stopped inches from him and he didn't flinch. Nerves of steel. Yeah, break it <laughs> this, is the this is the last one we gotta do. This one's gonna get sent back. I've said that probably 40 times. I just I just keep thinking about it, how much of an idiot I am. But this is the last one. You wanna you wanna do the, the honors of, of taking that off? Sure. Unless you're manly uh, Nope, not manly enough. Nope. <clears throat> oh god, that didn't. I just punched the crap out of that. <laughs> but it came off. All right, I'll grab the I'll grab the piece we need, which is okay. That's a short one. Okay, ha, there we go. All right, we got the medium size suppressor. We only had to put maybe a couple washers on there. I did learn though with this still this warm. thing right here. Oh, I see. A little mark. Yeah. Yeah. I keep turning. Yeah, turn that sucker. Kids don't do this at home, but the gun store owner did actually tell us to do this. Make sure that that thing is centered on there. There's nothing in line hanging down in there where a bullet might strike. Yeah, we're good. This is it's it's good. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> what do you think? What do you, I mean, this thing is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rob's in love, that's what I think. Caress me, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Oh, more airplanes, more airplanes, more airplanes. Just dropping Outlaw off right now. He's, he's flying up to Dallas, ironically. He's flying to Dallas and over to Florida. He's gonna go hang out in Florida and get at that mullet run action. I think he's gonna hang out with one of his buddies. I think his name is JT, JC, or JK. Definitely not JK, that doesn't make any sense, but it's JC or JT, something like that. Uh, we had to, we had to bounce real quick after we got those suppressors put on the guns. I mean, yep. Oh, and it begins. Okay, so this video is taking quite a, an interesting turn since the last time I talked to you. It's, I know it's probably been about five seconds since I've seen you guys, but it's actually been about five or six hours. I dropped them off down in San Antonio and I drove all the way back to North Texas. But it's came to my attention. I mean, this this makes me, this is this is, this is is a very sour subject when it comes to this, I don't know, you, you guys probably know if you guys have been on this channel, I don't care about politics, I don't care who's in charge as long as they're doing the right thing, Democrat, Republican, or whatever. I don't care as long as they're doing the correct thing. I don't care about race. You guys all, all I've said this a thousand times, we all bleed the same. I fought next to black, white, Asian. Like, it, it doesn't matter, I don't care. I fought next to them all, and we all bleed the same. I, like, I, I don't see any different in race. Like, this is why it makes me so angry. That flag right there, like, if you're kneeling during the national anthem, and you don't show respect to a flag, that flag is something that is far greater than anything that I, I, I it's, it means so much more than I think a lot of people can actually fathom. That thing speaks for the freedom of speech, which I know a lot of the, that's what this entire thing is, which I'll touch on. But a lot of people have died and fought 
for that flag. Like that flag means so much more than I think people actually realize. It's not just a symbol of America. That thing is absolutely like, so like uh, god so my, my buddies have died fighting for freedom in that flag right there that's why it means so much you're like who this is a tough subject this is a sore subject especially when i can if i ever saw somebody not stand up for the national anthem or just stand up and like that like give praise to that like that flag is like i don't want to say praise is not the right word like like show respect. Respect is the absolute right word for this this scenario right now. Like there's so many different ways. Like they're they're protesting oppression. Okay, go ahead and do it. I don't care. That's what we fought for. We fought for the right of free speech. Okay, I'm fine with that. But don't show disrespect to that flag. The flag is the only reason why you have the right to have free speech. So instead of doing that, don't stomp on it. Don't burn it. Don't kneel. Don't. Kneel. I'm trying not to curse here because I know there's a bunch of kids that are watching this. Don't kneel. Don't do any of that kind of stuff. Show respect to that thing. Go stand in front of a police station or a library. Hold your signs up. Do that kind of thing. Show, show your anger like that. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, show it like that. Oh, it makes me so mad. I know a lot of people are like, oh man, this guy, you, if you guys don't know me, I'm sure there might be some people come, oh, this is just some random white guy like talking about, oh, he doesn't know what oppression is. No, let's take a, let's take a step back real quick. Iraq and Afghanistan. Two of the most crazy countries I've ever been to in my entire life. And while you're over there fighting for America's freedom, you're also fighting for the people over there's freedom because they don't have the same kind of rights that you do. Like, they can't even go a day without worrying about saying the wrong thing and getting their head chopped off. Like, you guys have no idea the right that you have to live in this country. It's, it's, it's crazy. Like, they, everybody takes it for freaking granted. Ooh, I get so worked up over this subject. It just gets me going. I, I don't know. It gets me going. I don't know because I'm just, I'm just so patriotic. Like that is, it makes me so angry. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, no, I, I mean, the, the whole kneeling thing in the NFL, I, I, I don't know. I just wish they went about it a different way. There's so many ways to, to show your aggression or something. You don't like something other than like sh not giving respect to the, it's tough. This is tough. I don't know how many times I get to say this. It's like, I seriously, when I was over there, I was fighting oppression myself for people that couldn't do it. Like, we were having to kill Taliban in, in these little shithead militias that were coming through and chopping people's heads off because they had, they had no voice. They had no reasoning. Like, they had nothing. Like, they couldn't do anything but wake up, churn their crop, and go, they couldn't do anything else. They hadn't, like, that's, this is why I guess it just makes me so mad. I guess that's pretty much, you know, like, Damn, this is tough for me. I usually don't have a gen I generally don't have a hard time speaking to a camera, like to you guys. But this is this is a tough subject for me. But one thing I gotta say to anybody that does not want to be in America and does not want to show respect to that flag, I'll buy you a one-way ticket to Afghanistan. You can see what it's really like to have actual oppression. Find me on Twitter. Send me over info. I'll buy you a one-way ticket. Longer's TV. That's it.